Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome your faces back to another Catalyst Black update video. My name is Maxman and today we're going to be going more in depth about all the news we just got through the Q&A session with Chloe Ken of SEMC. So with that said, let's dive right into it. The first thing we're going to be talking about of course is going to be the new weapon that just got revealed, the Northern Warps. It's an assault rifle with a rapid rate of fire, moderate damage and long range. So this is going to be one of the main weapons you're going to be having throughout the game, kind of like the normal weapon you're going to be having consistently in every single one of your games. Seems pretty standard, but if we do flip the card here, we're going to have a lot more extra information. So these are the basic statistics you're going to be having for some of your weapons, like damage per shot, rate of fire, clip size, the range, reload time, primal power on hit, health bonus, and move speed bonus. These are going to be all of the stats that are going to be coming into account for this specific type of weapon. It might also diverge from weapon to weapon. If we have a flamethrower, for example, a few of these stats will not be relevant anymore. But this is like some of the basic statistics you can expect throughout the entire game. I'm personally a pretty big fan of the weapon style, how it looks like, and also these different statistics. That's what they're going to be basically working with in terms of like no buffing, nothing with these weapons so you definitely want to keep an eye out for it but at least you have an idea of how the meta will be worked around in terms of weapons so now we got also all the extra information that we got through asking questions over to cloaking by the way cloaking not my dad i'm just saying so a few things that have been already confirmed for the game through this q a session was that we're going to have more mask more mask have been confirmed we'll have a lot more primal gods coming into the game rather than the two that have been currently confirmed um in the last trailer there will be indeed paid monetization, so you'll be able to pay directly for skins or other in-game resources that haven't been confirmed just yet. And also one feature they're currently working on, they talked about the fact that you can go in and out of games really quickly. One thing they're trying to work on right now is that if you go out of a game, if you try and rejoin another game, you will not rejoin the same one. That's an issue they're currently having in the back end on the dev side of Catalyst Black so far. So normally when the game comes out, you'll not be just loading out of a game and going back into the same game because that would be a little bit pointless. It's nice to see that currently they are indeed working on those kind of features. After a few questions that were also asked over to Cloakin was if they had any thoughts of bringing back the API slash match history and data over to the game. So, so far they're not too sure if they want to really work with API seeing how that went with Vainglory, I understand why. So, so far API might come into the future over to Catalyst Black but so far it's not really confirmed and set in stone. Also, they did talk a little bit about different game modes, so it, they did 100% confirm that there will be multiple game modes. We already knew that, but now it's been 100% confirmed through the Q&A with Cloaken. One also of the main issues that a lot of players had seen in the trailer, and when they talked about 20 versus 20, people were like, wow, this could get really bad for our devices, so how would that work out? And they touched upon that a little bit and said they do have a really big focus of trying to allow um, low-end devices to be able to run the game. So they are definitely focalizing on being able to optimize Catalyst Black so far so that anyone could play on any kind of device. So that's really cool to know that SEMC are trying to make this game as easily and widely accessible to the wider audience. So great job on that, SEMC. And also one question that was asked at the end was if there was going to be multiple variants of the same main character without having a direct influence on the gameplay. And it was confirmed through Cloakin that yes, there will be different characters that won't really have an impact on your gameplay slash basically skins. So those have been somewhat confirmed by Cloakin today in the Q&A. And there you go. Very quick update. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on the Q&A. What did get talked about just a little bit uh, throughout today's Q&A session. And to finish this video up, also we do know for a fact that now they are indeed going to be putting together some paid marketing for Catalyst Black, which is desperately what SEMC need right now. So good job from SEMC on that, exactly what they need to try and make Catalyst Black as huge of a game they possibly can. And there you have it guys, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope I was able to somewhat keep you guys updated on what was currently talked about for Catalyst Black. Also if you want, you can like and subscribe to the video, I'll be doing a lot more content around Catalyst Black. For also news and also for gameplay purposes when the game does get released throughout beta or the global release. And with that said, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time for another Catalyst Black update video. Bye-bye.